So, yep, that was their plan. But surprising to them, we're actually a Puffcap deck. They thought we were a Darkness deck. We're a Puffcap deck. Give them some more mushrooms. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap Darkness. That's right, we are going to be combining uh, Puff Caps with all the things that they get to do, you know, giving the opponents Puff Caps with also <laughs> having a bunch of Darkness spells, just kind of putting them together. Looks pretty cool. So we're going to have Teemo and Vagar being our two champions. And we're going to go with, you know, kind of a lot of different creative cards. Um, we have two different two drops that want to strike. We're going to have Puff Cap Pup. They can strike and make three three Puff Caps. We'll have the Catalyzer strike and grant the darkness everywhere. One extra damage. We'll have uh, three Acolytes, one Sentinel, and uh, the, they're making the darkness besides the Vagar, and then also the Ixtali Sentinel. So basically what we're kind of hoping here, and then we got Ava Achievers in here, and they get to double the damage of the Puff Caps. So we're hoping to be kind of aggressive, Right, like we got a lot of twos in here, right? So we're gonna be trying to, like a little aggressive, getting some Nexus damage in, getting some, giving them some puff caps. We'll have like poison darts. Um, that card's looked really strong. Lecturing Yordle makes a lot more poison darts. And so if we're doing extra Nexus damage, then what we can do is have, you know, like Ava Achiever do a lot of Nexus damage, but then we can have our Vagar once it levels up, have the darkness go up to the Nexus. But then also your Ixtali Sentinel is going to have the Darkness go to the Nexus. And so we're going to be kind of like turning into a burn deck later on. So we're going to start like as a control deck that also has like these cheap units. And then we're going to eventually kind of morph into a burn deck to finish them out. One copy of Ruination is just like a, a reset button, right? Because with having these cheaper units, your opponent's probably going to be going wide. And this is just a pretty good Ruination metagame, especially against like these Nami decks. And lots of decks are going real wide right now. So Ruination's pretty good these days. One mini more for like, you know, Scions and big stuff, because uh, we should be able to kill all the small stuff. Also a couple stress defense if, if opponents have like some really huge thing that we need to just kind of turn into just one power for one round. Or of course we can use stress defense to save Teemo and Vagar also. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's go and try it out. Puff Cap, Darkness, putting them together in one deck. Should be pretty cool. Teemo, Vagar. And we're playing against a Victor deck. So they got Victor, Bandle City. We know Bandle City is famous for having lots of things to uh, create. This is a slow hand. Maybe we send all of these back. I kind of want to keep that stress defense to go along with the Vagar. But I want to get out ahead earlier. There we go. Just like that. Get out ahead earlier. Unfortunately, with attacking round three... Well, I guess... No, yeah, we can't play both of these. Okay. Big head, big brain. This is a tough call, whether to just go open attack or play two other things also. I'm going to go ahead and play the other things also because they are a deck that I could definitely see them just playing Mystic Shot. Yeah, like I just open attack, they Mystic Shot, and then I kind of waste my attack. So, yep, that was their plan. But surprising to them, we're actually a Puff Cap deck. They thought we were a Darkness deck. We're a Puff Cap deck. Give them some more mushrooms. So, surprise. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Okay, Ruination is good. <laughs> good protection for Vagar. Alright, one damage here. No. 
So, so the reason why I did that is to plant the three puffcaps because that levels up Teemo. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't. I thought Teemo was at 12. Never mind. Teemo was at 11. Never mind. That wasn't actually the case. I guess I could... Conchologist. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Eat breath now. Pokey stick this. Now Teemo's leveled up. We keep the darkness in hand so we can keep increasing the damage from that darkness. No! I wanted them to take the mini morph. Let's take unspeakable horror. This darkness is going to do lots of damage. Kind of keep them from playing a victor. Caps. Also, I should be doing that damage to their Nexus. I do like Pokey Stick being able to kill the 3 1 now. Followers. What wondrous discoveries await below? Astounding curiosities. Alpha is the mana crystal number three. Soon, Lord Vagar. It will be ready soon. All right, that'll do. We are, we're of course going to open attack and probably send in everything. Including the Vagar, but maybe not the Vagar. But I was def that's what I was debating on like whether I was attacking with Vagar or not. But everything else was going to be open attacking. Okay, now we're facing another Puffcap deck. Hopefully we can out-control them with our Darkness spells. Honestly, I could see keeping the Ava Achiever. I think this is going to be a really good Ava Achiever matchup. Because I don't think they're going to be able to kill it. And so I think it's going to be able to stick around for a long time. They should have a lot of like poison darts and all that kind of stuff. And basically, I had three other cards to play early. And then also the Acolyte creating the darkness. So I already have like a good amount of things that I can play the first, you know, like three, four rounds in my hand. And that's why I could keep Ava Achiever. If I wasn't, like if I was mulliganing other stuff, I would have mulliganed Ava Achiever also. But since I was already keeping good early cards, I had that opportunity.
Hey, no deals. Cool. I played Spooky Dragons last night and enjoyed it. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Alright, we're gonna keep our pup alive. Hmm. I was thinking... incorrectly. I was thinking that I was gonna be able to play a Vagar afterwards, but no. All right, Vagar's champion spell is this Event Horizon. That's gonna be important because we got a lot of those. Vagar's that is. Guess I shouldn't have played that pokey stick. Should have let that die, and then pokey stick plus. Darkness, the peddler. My that was a really, really good prank, making that cost two more. That was devastating. Alright, kind of spreading this out for the flash bomb traps. Still slow speed. Puff caps. It's just worth 16 puff caps. Plus, we put a card back into our deck that doesn't have a puff cap. This will be my magnum opus. Planting five more. Too bad about this. One, two, one, two, three, and then we have two mana left. Bring me your darkness by No. Vagar was about to level up. All right, so this Vagar will be leveled up now. I don't want to Pokey Stick, of course, because then we draw cards, including <laughs> all these traps and puff caps. So we, we just got both parts of our deck. We have the Puff Cat part, but then we also have this Darkness part where we can just mow down a whole bunch of things with the Darkness. How this game has played out, we haven't been able to play the Ava Achievers, but I think that will that'll change. I can see the Ava Achievers doing a lot of work for us. One mana short from Vagar plus Darkness plus Ava Achiever. Or Sentinel plus Darkness and then Vagar plus Darkness. 
So I think I'm going to lead with Big R plus Darkness. I don't want to play the Sentinel to create a darkness because we are going to create the darkness at round start. And it's good to make that trade instead of, you know, because that thing is probably just going to die to a flash bomb. I only have six flash bombs left. Wow, that was a card right there. Four puff caps and three flash bombs. Yeah, this life steal is going to be real necessary. This life steal is going to be really necessary. It could be just going to the Nexus with these. I am here until I am no more. Yeah, I guess could have just gone to the Nexus. Steady as life and but we got him. I understand. No. Not done. And there we go. This is a good showing for our deck. This Caitlyn Teemo is really popular. They had a good hand. Awesome. Good showing there. And Puffcap Darkness is 2-0. Ooh, now, see? We just played against Puffcaps. Now we play against Darkness. This is a good hand. The Aristocrat, not too good of a blocker versus the Pup. Thanks, Quick Attack. Mini Morph's good against their champions. Get a darkness. Astounding curiosity fly ahead. Shadow Isles has not been a very good region for this conchologist. There's a lot of poor spells in Shadow Isles. There's a lot of spells in general, but a lot of poor spells. Easy does it. So it looks like they would rather use a one damage spell on the pump. If I block here, so we enable, like, the reason to make this attack is you have, like, Go Hard, Vile Feast, that kind of stuff. So we enable those cards. But we do strike to get three puff caps, and I have, I am playing Teemo for those, for those kind of cards anyway. So we are helping out Teemo. Worlds. 
us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Big head, big brain! So I could possibly see playing Loping Telescope instead of the Conchologist because of Shadow Isles being a poor region for Conchologist. Alright, so unfortunately it looks like they get to increase the damage of their darkness. Which is certainly unfortunate. Unto Dusk? Just two mana draw card instead of Stalking Shadows? Wondrous discoveries await below. Yeah, Loping does have the one less health. I could definitely see just playing the, the telescope instead because these these are just not the best spells. The Bandle City spells are all pretty good to hit, but Shadow Isles if you, has a lot more and they're not that great. Yeah, there, yeah, there are, there are some good ones. The glimpse beyond is definitely a good one. But unspeakable horror, vile feast, those are great. There's just a lot of, of spells in Shadow Isles, and so there are a lot of ones that are kind of poor. All right, so they did not. They should be playing this darkness first to create another, a new darkness, right? Like whenever they attack. They did not do that. Getting dark. Oh, I did my best. Guess that's it. Oh dear. So I didn't save that Teemo, I figured that I'd maybe just save the next Teemo. It's really unfortunate that Teemo's at 14 out of 15. You know, we just need one more. Oh, I did have a Vagar. Alright, um... Draw a card or Stalking Shadows. What am I hitting from Stalking Shadows right now? I could hit Lecturing Yordle. Ava the Sentinel. Let's let's go and stalk the shadows right now. Okay, that thing. So hopefully this strikes and does three, and then. Levels up the Teemo. That's my hope. If I would have stressed defense the first... Oh, no. Alright, well, we gotta switch out that. Gotta just get rid of that thing. Can't let them just continually increase the damage, of course. My, set, my darknesses are doing three damage right now.
Let's see what else we get. Poison Dart, Acolyte. Noctis Frost! Thank you, Frost. Keeping it frosty. Alright, our fourth sub of the day. I think I go ahead and save that. It does mean like they have to basically use like another darkness on this. Not a huge difference between two and three damage. So let's play this Acolyte. And grab a darkness. But I do have the poison dart that levels up Teemo that I'm planning on playing the poison dart. Slow, 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 slow. So that's not a good sign. Ooh, of course, the team was going to die to this darkness. Yeah, Poison Dart's... It's not just a better parlay, because parlay does have that opportunity to deal one to a unit, and then one to the Nexus as well. But yeah, I think Poison Dart... Um, you know, getting the three pop caps, that's really, really nice. You could say I got a life wish. I've had a lot of champions. In the previous turn they had a Vagar, then played the Vagar champion spell. If only our if our darknesses were doing four damage, that would be so you know so, so clutch. They're not dealing four. Yeah, they got a lot of champions. This is now currently the fourth Senna <laughs> for us to deal with. So I don't like throwing out the Sentinel like in, you know, with these darkness and everything. Turn it them. But it just uses my mana so much better. Like if I just play the Solari Sentinel, we're you know not using a decent amount of mana. Second time's worth. Long road behind. Long <laughs> Come on. I think this is probably where I'm playing Ruination. I'll have to play like Rekindler right here. Come on, play into the Ruination. No, they did not. All right, well. There is light yet within me. If only these darknesses were doing four damage, life would have been a whole lot better. Life would have been much better. Del 4. So maybe this round, like, I should play the Catalyzer first. Man, and they had a Vega? They've just drawn all their champions all the time. 
Like they've actually drawn six or sorry, three Senna's and three Vagars, and then you used two other spells to get Senna's back. I have to ruination next round, but I still have to do this right now, because if I don't, then yeah, they just go. Uh, this is it's still just game over anyway. Yeah, it's still just game over anyway. Why not play the Catalyzer? Because I wanted to open attack, and then they kill my 4-1, and then they play something else, and then I Ruination. That's what I wanted to happen, but that's not, of course, what happened. That's what I wanted to happen. But, man, it's just too many champions. Too many champions over there. All right, now we're back to against a, t a puff cap deck. So we only play against puff caps or darkness. Uh, but no, this is Ionia Teemo. This should be like a, a, a Wayfinder deck. Probably a ton of elusives. Mini Morph's just expensive. So, but Mini Morph does stop the el elusives. But it should be just them, like an, an elusive aggro deck. It's not really a puff cap deck. Green Glade duo. Yeah, nice early start. Ooh. Only I can command darkness. Only I. That's not an elusive. And it's not a card that helped with team up with uh sorry with Wayfinder either. So perhaps I am wrong about the deck. Get some catalyzer action going on. Well, that's too bad. And they just drew that mystic shot also. Ugh, that's too bad. If I would have been more patient with those catalyzers, I could have protected one with a stress defense. It's all, all good. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Wow. Aloof Travelers still busted. Discard their lowest cost card. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Always like this Trixie Tentacles. Fine. It's underrated. Easy does it. We'll trade with a thermal genic beam. Save for Teemo, or... Yeah, I should probably save for Teemo. Monastery of Hirana? Well, I am glad that I didn't play that stress defense and I kept this darkness available to kill this thing. Well, the bouncing aloof travelers? Gross. Monastery of Haran alo aloof. Aloof travelers? Yuck. Yeah, the aloof hitting Vagar was super sad. Gaze into the light.
Yeah, Zig's Malphite's pretty good. Oh, come on, a second Vagar? Really? Right then? Twice they got Vagar. Oh, no, no, then they're just gonna pick it up! I should have played the Poison Dart on it. I could play the Poison Dart on it, not the Darkness. Like, I, I should just be going the other way around on those. I guess I have the Pokey Stick. I guess I did have the Pokey Stick. If they would have tried to pick it up. Um. Yeah, Zig yeah, so Zig's Malphite can do some cool stuff with that, you know, kind of be aggressive deck. Actually, we actually played a, a good Zig's Malphite deck up on YouTube. I didn't have the best record, but I don't I didn't have the best luck, but it's a good list. So, maybe try that out and you can watch at the end like what I think of the deck and that kind of stuff. All right, so we got rid of the Aloof Travelers, so that's good. So that's going to make it 11 Puff Caps, so then Mushroom Cloud will make it 16. I want to play this Pokey Stick or not. Alright, I guess so. Draw a new card. Man, I can't believe they got rid of two Vagars with their two Aloof Travelers. So, of course, I wish I would have done one damage to the Chump Lump. Obviously. But oh well. Looks like we're going for the Nexus. So I would have done. So they could be at 15, but then the Chump Lump dead and not be able to block. Third Mystic Shot. Infinite stun combo. So I don't want to play Sentinel right now, because they don't have a unit for me to whoa, for me to target with the darkness. It only goes to the Nexus this round, and we can't do anything this round with that darkness, so we're just gonna hold on to Extali Sentinel. I mean, I've drawn a lot more puff caps than they have. And I only have six puff caps left. They have 22. How do I keep drawing way more puff caps than them? All right, so they're they're about to turn that six into a lot bigger number. I guess it has to be Teemo. If I targeted Peddler like this anyway, they still get all the value out of the Peddler. They could have not played two of those and played Chump Lump instead. I still draw more puff caps than them every time. I guess this time I actually have more puff caps finally. Very fear, very doubt. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. 
Yeah, we're gonna try to poison dart them to death. Yeah, they probably should have played a blocker last round. Okay, got the win. Three and one. Still on the way to our four one. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. GG's. Lulu Poppy. It's not a Teemo deck and it's not a darkness deck. It's something else. Okay, Ruination can be awesome against Lulu Poppy. And like honestly, Sentinel and Ruination are both great top end cards. That lifesteal is really important. All of a sudden, the Sentinel back. I'm going to keep this Ruination, though. Now, of course, they can play the Bandle Tree. And if they play Bandle Tree, uh, I can be sad. But we already have, like, Poison Dart to kill something small. Go team up. Nothing like the great outdoors. Go get him. Yeah. Never know what hit him. They didn't have the 1-2 Elusive. Got a hit. Direct hit. Alright, Acolyte. Create darkness. We are darkness kill the mayor. Yeah, and at least the Ruination can be protection from aloof travelers. <laughs> We've needed that aloof traveler protection. So I have a good open attack, or I can try to level level up Teemo by casting, you know, Poison Dart, have the Puffcat Puff attack, and, and like this Teemo. Like, right, we, we can level up Teemo before Teemo hits him. They only have four, so they'd have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, go to 30. Just they could play like a lot of better blockers. All right, I think I'm going to go for the Teemo level up. There's always sharp sight. That's gonna hurt either way. Alright, so that worked out as well as I could hope. So now they got 30 puff caps and they're at 11. And now we kind of slow down, play, play a longer game. Really hope they don't have a rally. Go kill my Teemo. Fresh offerings. Let's get a 6 6 fearsome. Right now, Lulu's the only thing that blocks a 6 6 fearsome. If they do have a rally, they get to kill Teemo, but then I get to kill Lulu. And yes, they can't even can't even really cast that. Okay. This. Oh, no sharp sight. Good. No sharp sight. We get to do two damage to them and double their puff caps and get rid of Lulu. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, I'm 
up, my britches and purple berries. New venue, new money. <laughs> if I don't play this, we can hold up Ruination for next round. But it would just look really sketchy if I just don't play it and just pass. Five? Oh, they're so close. Why didn't I do... Should have done that to the Nexus. Mama's home. We can probably stay alive right now. Uh, should have held up Ruination. Alright, so... Pokey stick. Big head, big brain. We'll block everybody. I think we're gonna be getting this and going to four and one. So I don't think we're losing here, and I think these puff caps should be able to do the job. I kind of hope they don't die immediately. Get that plus one extra damage on the darkness. I hope they don't die immediately right here so that I get to Ava Achiever. I guess I should pass. No, I lose! They did have a rally! Exact lethal! No, exact lethal! Mordecai, why'd you give them a rally? Exact lethal. Zero. So, you know, it was round seven. I just didn't I didn't have to play that, that one mana spell from the Yordle. Uh, but like I said, it would look weird if I didn't play it. But, yeah, I think that that's what I should have done. You know, just not, not, play, that, not play that spell from the Yordle. If I also, instead of doing the Poison Dart to the, the Fleet Feather Tracker, if I would have just Poison Dart the Nexus, they drew the five Puff Caps, then we would have had the Pokey Stick to finish off their Nexus, like we would have killed them that way either. So the only thing I could do to lose the game was Poison Dart the Fleet Feather Tracker, and that's what I did, and we ended up losing. <laughs> uh, any other decision there? Poison Dart the Nexus, or not cast Poison Dart, either one, we would have won. But good, good lesson learned. Lesson learned there of I, I didn't really consider us dying that next round to that Bandle in Arms card, Yordle in Arms, whatever that card's called, plus Rally. Um, yeah, that's that seven mana combination there, and so that I could have protected against it with Ruination. Um, I'm never, I'm still just not really that used to playing against that Yordle in Arms card. It, it's like always surprising. So maybe I'll, maybe after this I'll start. Uh, you know, thinking about that card a little bit more. So Ava Achiever was an underachiever, wasn't a necessary card ever. Uh, I could definitely see taking that out, as some, some people have mentioned. Uh, lots of other things you can play instead. In fact, I, like Mini Morph was pretty good for us. I wouldn't mind having an extra copy of like Mini Morph or Vengeance or Ruination. You know, like you could have another expensive spell between Mini Morph, Vengeance, Ruination. You could play a Des and Ada. If, if you're a fan of Des and Ada, you could, you know, play one of those and one Ava Achiever. Or you can also just play, like, some other cheaper cards that are always good. Like, you you know, you can play, like, Trinket Trade um, that gets you the random spells or Otterpus, Loping Telescope. Always amazing. You know, you can do that kind of stuff, too, instead of Ava Achiever. Just play, like, some Loping Telescopes. And Loping, teles uh, sc yeah, Loping Telescope does manifest in Epic. And Ava Achiever is an epic, so you can just you know get a two mana two one first, and then Ava Achiever afterwards. That's always something you can do. There you go. All right, but that's going to be it for Puff Cap Darkness. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Sorry I didn't get the four one. I definitely could have. I you know made some mistakes there that last game, so couldn't quite get all four ones. But we'll still take all winning records. But hopefully y'all had some fun today. Uh, we're going to have some more meme tier decks tomorrow as well. Uh, if you're enjoying these meme tier decks, we're going to have that for tomorrow. Um, and then we'll be back to some ranked after that. All right, but that's going to be it here for Puffcap Darkness. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.